and we, we began writing these songs in 1993, after uh, 1992 actually, it was 1992. And we, we, we did one song called It's Kwanzaa Time on cassette in that home. And we came to the Kwanzaa celebration. We, we actually played it for Conrad, uh, Dr. Conrad World. He said, you know, this is nice. I like this because people do a lot of Kwanzaa songs, but they don't make them like, you know, like real music. It ain't like real music. So, so he liked this. So we went back and we, we finished it and we pressed up a bunch of cassettes, cassette singles. Y'all remember what cassettes are, right? <laughs> And we had, we had about 200 of them. And we came to uh, uh, the Karamu Yaimani, and they just disappeared. $5 a pop. We were amazed. And that gave us the impetus to go back into the woodshed and come up with a song for each one of the principals. So this is one of my favorite songs. Uh, and it is what we need right now. Future is unclear. Oh, 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 oh
those who have lost it. Gabo?
I'ma divide the room up into three parts. I'ma give y'all a part to sing, give y'all another part to sing, give you a different part to sing. I don't get confused by the part I give them, but simple to the part I give you. But I want you to sing it real loud and hold it down, and I'ma come over and give you a different part. And your part's gonna be simple to the part that I'm singing, so you're gonna be cool because you're gonna be singing with me. So, I'ma give y'all a part, give y'all a part, give them a different part. We're gonna stop the music, listen to y'all. We ain't gonna stop the music, but we're gonna listen to y'all. See how y'all Are y'all ready? Alright, this is what I want you to do. Come on, y'all. A little loud. 